goodness. That is loud. going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video it's pretty windy but the car has the full drag pack the seat is out we've got the laptop we've got everything ready to go it's time to see just what this car will do with some little bit of extra weight out of the front rotation of the wheels and the trans tune so let's go to the track that is right guys we are headed to the track and man oh man does this car look amazing with the full drag pack now perfect fitment thanks a lot to weld again with the venturas with 18 by 5 and 17 by 10 fitting flawlessly only needing tiny tiny little changes to the crossover a little bit in the back nothing drastic or major at all and they look amazing you get the weld rts look for half the price with the bead locks and everything so i'm super super excited now before we get to the video guys i do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that support the channel that have subscribed and hit that notification bell and if you haven't and you like the videos consider hitting that like button subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all the videos we are just getting started with the zl1 guys it is currently sitting on the full drag pack seat out with the cold air big gulp rotofab intake and ecm tune and e50 mix so today we're going back to the track to see just how much of a difference the front skinnies will make in rotational weight and at the track times and then also load up the transmission tune and see just how much of a difference the trans tune is going to make on these zl1s so now if you haven't checked out my previous drag racing videos with the z01 you'll know that this car does have a very very low torque limit in first gear off the launch it actually doesn't let me go into power enrichment mode and wide open throttle in first gear off the hit so hopefully with the update to the trans tune and the little bit of the shifting schedules we should be able to get the full power we might have issues hooking but We've got the brand new ET Street R in the back. We'll make sure those are nice and warm. And if we can hook and this car can go, we should start seeing better 60 foot times, which in turn will mean better quarter mile times. So our goal today is to try to run a best time yet. Currently we set at a 10.6 at 129. So let's see if we can get this to about a 10.3, 10.4 at low 130s, about 132 is what i'm thinking with the trans tune and everything ready to go so now with that being said let's head right onto the track so that we can let this thing cool down and be ready for its first run check that out i still can't get over the way the bead lock and the front skinny is looking now it looks pretty empty at the track right now which is pretty awesome i'm super happy about that hopefully we'll be able to get a few runs in because right now we still have the stock transmission tune so we're gonna go and just see what it'll run by having the only change be the front skinnies and hopefully we run like a 10.5 that'd be pretty awesome and then once we get that done we'll do the transmission tune which usually takes about one or two passes to really settle in and try to go for that 10.3 10.4 pass so right now we're gonna let the car cool down and go for our first pass so it looks like we'll be running a 5.0 mustang on a rear drag pack uh, not sure what they've got but again we're gonna be running our own race so that'll be what we have to deal with today guys and sorry i don't have both gopros so this is the only angle that we have and of course we'll have the draggy going as well my iats are shooting through the roof guys we're at about 159 on my manifold absolute temperature number two um but it is what it is can't do anything about that really warmed up all right first burnout on the drag radials got to make sure they're nice and warm let's do this guys and we are All 
right, so we're hot lapping it. <laughs> and man, my manifold air temperatures are 163. Woo, it's gonna be hot. But it is what it is, guys. This will be a good thing to show you guys just how much of a drop off you get once you get a very hot engine. Just came back from that hot lap and if we look at the track it was pretty much identical exact time now let's go back and look at first our very first run and talk about the first run which was basically like hot lapping it because we had just gotten to the track and had maybe like 10 minutes on the car cooling down and so here is the draggy and the draggy showed a 1072 at 131.2 with a 170 60 foot and if we look at the actual drag slip time we had a 1069 at 129.3 miles an hour. So basically I, on the mile an hour side, we've, I've already said, I feel like the GPS based mile an hour is a lot more accurate than the track. So I'm gonna go with the 131 for this. But the key thing here guys is that 2600 feet DA. This car ran a 1069 in about 2100 DA. So it's almost 500 DA more, which means that these skinnies are really helping out the car and getting this car moving down the track. Now we go back to the second run and that one was a 1070, so a tiny bit faster. And at 131.13, same 1760 foot. And if we look at the, and if we look at the uh, track time, we did get a 1068, not a 1069 at 129 with a 163 60 foot which is also the best 60 foot i've done in this car i think a 166 was the best before so 163 is already better and we haven't even changed the transmission to it so i'm very happy with that guys basically if we let this car cool down and go make another hit it probably would run closer to that 10.5 and pick up about a tenth from just keeping everything the same and having the front skinnies which is very very impressive super happy with that it just shows that the car is definitely liking these skinnies and it's just begging for more power yeah, so before we let it cool down completely and get our best pass i am going to load up the transmission tune and go do one more pass while it's kind of hot guys so that we can let the transmission learn the new shift points learn all of that usually with these 10 speeds it does take about one full pass of the gears going through the gears for the car to really learn and adapt to the new tune and transmission tune settings so let's go ahead and we'll load up the transmission tune and get right back in line get our test run going and then cool it down so that we can get our best to pass of the night with the new transmission tune on and see just how much of a difference a transmission tune really makes all right guys we're going up against a nitrous truck and like i've always said don't underestimate the trucks here in texas so it is what it is um again we just got to let the transmission learn the shift points of the new tune and then we'll let this car cool down because we've just been hot lapping it back to back to back which is awesome that's great especially for a friday night Good burn out there. Let's see what the difference is, man. I am excited. was that <laughs> man the camera even moved with how well it launched wow 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 if that was the car in its first pass of learning the shift points oh my goodness 
this thing launched and did an amazing job off the line and the time is here to prove it guys remember no cooling down no nothing completely hot and just intake some e55 and a trans tune on a drag pack and it went a 1049 at 132 I'll put the slip on, of course, like always. So we got a 160, 60 foot on the draggy, 677 at 105 in the eighth, and a 1049 at 132 on the draggy. And the drag is showing 2000 DA. And then here we've got the drag pass, which is the fastest yet, a 1047 at 129.6 with a 153 60 foot, guys. Oh, yeah that is so impressive i'm super happy with that let's let this thing really cool down let the da drop just a little bit if i had to guess the da is probably about 2500 the track app is probably more accurate than All the right, drag another slightly and unfair race but we'll see this thing is still running much faster than it ever did in 2000 da so let this thing completely cool down see if we can get into the 1460 foot and at 103 it'll be tough but i think we can do it tonight all right guys we are up next we're going to be running a challenger red eye that is tuned on e85 it ran a 10-0 at 137 earlier so he's going to give us the hit we'll see how this goes it'll be fun it'll be a lot of fun the car is pretty, pretty good intake temp wise, uh, manifold temp is pretty high, they're 150, so it is what it is, we'll see what happens, we go from there. Whoo, should be exciting guys, this is really fun, always good running against guys that are cool, Z has vast knowledge and really fast uh, Hemis and Hellcats, so it should be fun. Got a good burn out there and I'm getting the hit on this one oh, wow Woo. that was an amazing run with that Hellcat red eye challenger the ZL1 performed beautifully. The little bit of cooldown that it did get actually did help it, that along with probably some DA. And that is evident here with the time slip. So let me show you, I'll put the time slip up. Focusing on our side, our 60 foot, a 150, which is getting close to that 140. Uh, and then we did a 669, 105.4, best eighth mile and ended up at a 1041 at 130.9 yeah that is super impressive and if we look at the draggy time which i'll post here as well it did a 157 60 foot 672 at 105 to the eighth and a 1044 at 132 so this car is just moving guys moving 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 i am so happy with the results We've been able to get a bunch of runs and I actually data logged that run and everything looked beautiful, looked perfect, no issues whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and probably send that over to Brett. I don't think there's much that we're gonna need to change. Everything looked really good. But now it is 11, 12. We're gonna probably wait about an hour and a half, two hours. We got a nice little breeze here. Hopefully let this car cool down as much as we can. They don't close till two. So we'll have a, one hour to go back and try to get that 1030 pass, the 1038, 1039, that would be the goal. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, that's what we we're trying to go for. We wanted that 1030, 104 pass. And guys, if we can get a 103 pass, I'd be ecstatic, especially in this weather. I think we're going in like 2000 to 2500 DA. Man, once we get those headers in, it's gonna be game over. I think just headers intake and tune, with some E85, we should be able to see a 10-0 pass, maybe even a nine second pass out of this thing, which would be insane. So anyways, let's go see some more cars while this thing cools down, see what's out there, see what cars are running. 
and then we'll catch you guys eventually on our final and best run so don't stick around to see if we get that 1038 1039 run okay we've got what i believe this is a turbo not sure if single or twin turbo black fifth gen versus a purple red eye God, this black fifth gen sounds so good. That red eye is moving. 998 and a 10 1. Really good. 139, 140. Very close race. Good one. Check this out guys, 1K720S, that is insane. This is goals right here, got carbon on the license plate, got the titanium rift, titanium exhaust, so this thing is actually probably making the 1K that it says on the bottom there, pretty dope. And then we've got the Camaro. It looks like an SS, but excessive racing engines, guys. You know, this thing's probably got some good power under it. Love the one at Lee Wing and the paddle shifters. Looking really nice. Liking the orange. All right, guys, here we've got the 720S. Awesome, awesome twin turbo Mustang. Definitely built right and done right. Shout out to Justin, really awesome. Great guy, awesome Mustang. Now let's go get our final run, see if we can get that elusive 10-3 pass. We are gonna have our, I believe now, fourth or fifth and final run of the night. We let the car kind of cool down a little bit. We're gonna let these cars go. And basically, we're just, trying to see if we'll be able to get our 10-3 pass the way it sits on just intake tune and some e55 so right, hopefully we run I'm really well so looks like we're pretty much down to the end of the night here they still nice got another hour of racing which is pretty cool so but for the car once we do this pass it'll get probably heat soaked again and won't it'll be very difficult to try to get a much faster pass so Fingers crossed, we get that 10-3 pass. All right, let's do this. All right, so it looks like we're actually gonna be running a Mustang. All right, got a good burn out there. Let's see if we can do it. And that Mustang was coming, guys. Wow. We did it. This car just keeps surprising and always giving me the best time at the track. Today, we were able to go faster each and every single run, guys, from the very first run where we ran a 10.69 to right now running a 10.39. 
So let's go ahead and look at the time slip. Here we have the draggy slip. And you can see it was a point, a 1.5660 foot. Draggy showed a 1042 at 132.2. And then here is the track times. There we have it guys, the best 60 foot ever, a 1500, so 150 flat 60 foot, 668 to the eighth at 105.6, and finally, 1039 at 129.9 or 130. Damn. You know, at the very beginning of the video, if you stayed this long, I said our goal for tonight is going to be to try to get a 10 3, 10 4. And lo and behold, we got it, guys. 1039. That is so impressive. I know it's just barely a 10 3, but it's a 10 3 nonetheless. Basically, nothing done to the car i mean it really just is a drag pack the passenger seat out it still has the full rear seats in there i didn't remove anything like that it's got the all-weather flooring flooring i haven't removed anything besides the passenger seat and put the drag pack on with the big gulp intake and e85 with the ecm and tcm tune and guys for those of you guys wondering if a TCM tune is definitely worth it and worth the money on the ZL1s, hands down, yes it is because it is going to allow you to get the full power off the line in first gear. So tuning the transmission gained us three full tenths, guys. Remember, it, today it ran a 1068, 1069 with the exact same setup and then we, tuned the, we put the tune from the transmission from Brett and brett did his magic and we went 1039 so a full three tenths faster with the exact same setup in the exact same night only the changes was the transmission tune so if you have a z01 10 speed definitely definitely do whatever you can to get that transmission tune you will really see the biggest gains with that but anyways guys with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and really can't wait to see what else we do with this car we've got a bunch of stuff coming to it and it's just gonna get faster and faster but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one